Well, give thanks and praise unto the most I, I the last the first, with no apology. Rogo Bar says so. Well, right now, we are see Egypt and replay itself back in, in our history, you know. You know, see soldiers around the place, they never have police to supervise them. So you know that is an illegal mission. Soldier job is to fight against foreign people. They don't know about law and they don't know about seek and destroy. So when you put soldiers up on the road without the supervision of a police officer who knows the law of the land, then it's something illegal. So I say, the way of parliament reflect of the mind of the people. If you think worthless, you not get worthless treatment. No first world person, no first world mind, bow to foolishness. Because when they take away your rights, they disrespect you. The Almighty give us two gifts every day when you wake up. A freedom of choice. And Him give you a chance to make it your best. So Him give you freedom of choice and chance. So all man will come take that from you. Now, what is the agenda? The 2030 agenda and globalism define the factor within the next 10 years. will define the individual now. So, how are we, how are one define oneself in 10 years? What I'm to in 10 years? What I'm to pick them? How the country are going to run in 10 years? You catch me where I come from? Mm. What is going to happen to the less fortunate? One must seek to balance their physical and mental health to facilitate the modern knowledge shared among people and countries toward progress for the next seven years at least out of the ten years. Because they have an agenda. A meaningful life is not being rich or being popular, yeah. being highly educated are being perfect. It is about being real, being humble, being able to share oneself and touch the life of the less fortunate or others, my brothers and sisters and beloved ones. So they ill treat us. We are infected, injected, are infected with their poison. We are given a surfer ticket that signify that we are government property. And how can we be property when the Almighty stated that we are created equal? The person who slave another person has been found guilty of the atrocity that they caused to the other person. And the person who sit by and being slave have been found guilty by disrespecting the Almighty and not knowing that you are born equal. My brothers and sisters and beloved ones. Then they force us to go through a system that will move everything of our eternal truth, our history and our culture and replace with lies, evil systematic rules and regulation that drain our energy. My brothers and sisters and beloved ones, they poison our spirit. They poison our mind, our language, country, school, media, church, and politics. That's why all of these things became a business and not in the best interest of the people. Why? They have buried us so deep in the abyss. They have altered every opportunity that we have to ascend us, our inner being, into the higher place of existence. The system has forced us to mature into our ego because they know that we are trapped in our root. We will remain there if we do not get up and do something about it, my brothers and sisters and beloved ones. Awaken my people. Rise as I as a star themselves. The time is now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. I know it the time is now. We are ascended because enough is enough. 
And now we are taking our voice back. We are taking our culture and history back. Now we are here to show you that we are doing the work of the Creator, the Almighty, who invests the power within each and every one of us. As your Bible and your Jesus stated, the kingdom of the Almighty is in each and every one of us. So if the kingdom of the Almighty is in us, do you think the Almighty want to sleep outside in the bush? It's going to be in the kingdom that is within you, my brothers and sisters and beloved ones. So give thanks and praise unto the Most High. I will say last time first with no apology. Give thanks and praise unto Bonuela, Tabby Diamond, and the whole Rogawai Nation family. Arr! You hear? <laughs>